Hey guys, Cool Turner Alex here, and I've got two Little Cup battles for you. Um, a real quick thing about Little Cup is that it's really fast paced. There's not too much strategy in the actual battle. It's mostly in the making of the team. So you're not going to see a lot of, yeah, it's going to be quick. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, Casador Perfect recently named me one of his trainers of the week. So thank you. Big shout out to him. Uh, not only does it help with the subs, but it's nice to know that I'm being recognized for what I'm doing. And then I have a couple people link in the sidebar because right now I forget all their names, but they're really close to a sub count or they just really, they deserve, you know, Casador helped me out. So I decided, you know what, in this video, I'm going to post a couple people that could use some more subs, some more notice. Yeah, they need the spotlight people. So without further ado, I have two Little Cup battles against Golduck and Multi, both really close friends of mine. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of new to Little Cup, as you will see, but here we go. Alright, so, yes, I picked Brown. Um, he's going to lead off with a small tank, also known as Bronzor, and I'm going to lead off with Meowth. I fake out just in case he decides to switch predicting a taunt, which I do carry. Most Meowth actually don't carry taunt in Little Cup, but yeah, I go for the taunt after that. I go for the bite here, and I get the flinch. Uh, he was going to go for Psychic. It would have done a decent amount of damage. I go into Recycle to take the Psychic. I mean, obviously I didn't know what move he was going to use, but I just kind of figured my own Bronzong could... Re yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I go for Shadow Ball and it doesn't affect that thing. So I go back in it too much passe because, yeah, he's a cat. Take the Thunder Wave because I don't want to reveal anything else on my team. And here I go for Taunt, and I get the Parahax, which kind of sucks, but I guess that kind of makes up for the flinch, because he's going to be able to set up his Stealth Rocks. And yeah, so I go for Bite one more time. He's going to set up a Reflect. I'm going to go for U-Turn here. He's going to live him. Yeah, he's going to live right there. Go out to Chunky Monkey Stunky, and uh, go for Flamethrower. And that is going to take out the, uh, yeah, thing. So he's going to go into Dicklet. I go for Sucker Punch because I know he's just going to go for Earthquake. And I'm pretty sure he's banded because he's, uh, yeah, not moving at all, his HP. So I go into Recycle because I have Levitate. And I go and I switch out into Too Much Pussy to see what he's going to do. Um, I go for Fake Out and he goes for Bulk Up. So I go for U-Turn here and I go into Recycle. And um, after one Bulk Up, I don't know if it would have been an OKO, but I'm pretty sure he could have 2 hit KO'd me, so I don't think that mattered. I'm going to go for Fake Out, and yeah, that stuff is going to happen. Sucker Punch, yeah, ouch. But uh, I go for Swords Dance here, and here's the beginning of my sweep, because he switches into Gabba, and I'm like, BAM! I spot right in the fucking face. <sighs> So yeah, he's going to go into Smart Kid, and Aqua Jet is just going to freaking destroy that thing after a Swords Dance and Life Orb. And here against the Happiny, um, I used Earthquake. Totodile can actually not learn Earthquake, it's only for Alligator, but he can learn Return, and Return has more power than that, and I would have used Return, and yeah. And right here, I'll explain in the description, I could have won here, I just played stupid, and there's even more in the description about my fucking Crow Gunk that decided to be fainted during the entire battle, as you can see right there, I never got to use it. So now I have another battle against Basti, a.k.a. Golduck. He leads with that thing, and I lead with this thing, and I go for Leech Seed predicting a switch, because it's pretty damn obvious I could have just used a grass attack. But he's not into predicting, he just wants his rocks up, so yeah. I'm going to go for Leech Storm and destroy the thing. And yeah, my special attack falls, which I guess is bad, kind of. So he's going to go into Elekin, and I know he's going to Ice Punch, but I don't want him subbing, because some of them do have sub. So yeah. I predict him to know that I'm going to Will-O-Wisp him, but I guess he's not in the mood for predicting yet again. So I just go for Payback. He's going to go for Thunder Punch. I'm going to get off the Will-O-Wisp, and um, the Will-O-Wisp damage and the Shadow Sneak is going to take him out. So yes, he's going to go into Meowth, and I don't really have anything to switch into Meowth, because I know they carry Hypnosis, which unfortunately fucking hits, which is really annoying, actually. So yeah, I'm praying that I wake up first turn, and I don't. And uh, this is going to be pretty much freaking good game, because I don't have anything, I made this, yeah, I don't have anything to counter Gliscor, or Gligar, which is actually really bad in Little Cup, because Gligar is one of the most used Pokemon. I just kind of, we made this team real quick. 
So yeah, um, good game, multi, good game, Basti. There's some, if any of you are interested, there's some information in the description about what happened in the first battle because somehow in this, when I saved the Pokemon, I clicked a check, mo check box that made it so that it was always fainted, even in battle. So I only had five Pokemon that battle. That's all I got, boys and girls. I got a couple tournament battles coming up. I will post them. Comment, like, no more rate. Kind of makes me sad face. And subscribe. Peace.